Hi guys, welcome back to the Pick Food channel. And today's video is for all of my food and CPG founders out there. If you've been wanting to split test your images to get more clicks on Amazon, today's roundup is for you. We're gonna get those creative juices flowing and show you all the tips and tricks you need to get started. Check it out. All right, before we jump into this roundup for food brands, I do want to preface this by saying that you always want to make sure that you check your compliance guidelines with Amazon to make sure that all your product images, especially main images, are falling within terms of service. So to jump into this example, this is Possibilities, a pasta brand. And you can see here that taking a photo of plastic is actually really difficult and it ends up being really dark in most cases. And then when you try to brighten it up, it ends up being washed out and you might be missing the edges of the plastic. And so you can see that's why they applied this drop shadow, which ends up looking really dated, right? But if you choose to do a 3D render instead, which is what we did here, you can really enhance the product and give a more realistic view and, and add crispness and clarity and brightness to this shot. And the other thing we did here is we added an angle to the packaging and then added a close up of the actual shapes so that shoppers would get to see what is the shapes that's going to be delivered inside of this packaging. Jumping into this example with Regal Salmon, one of the top sellers of salmon across the nation, you can see here that this packaging looks great, right? They've done a fantastic job. And one would think there's really not much you could do with, with this sort of packaging. But if we really wanted to go above and beyond and get incremental sales, what we can do is make sure that from the search results when we're looking at these tiny little images that maybe some of it's legible so you can see here you cannot read gmo free but on this one you can actually read gmo free so just enhancing these in post edits just a tiny bit more what else is going to help grab your attention is laying over an award that was won by the brand uh, which again is very compliant with amazon's terms of service and Lastly, instead of leaving the fork inside of the packaging here, why not enhancing it and bringing it out to be larger than life so that shoppers can actually see a close up of the products. And again, this award is probably going to get a ton of click through traffic just again by showing and validating and building trust with shoppers, which is very compliant with Amazon's terms of service. So then the next example here is something really simple. Why not add a close up shot of your product to the side, especially if you're selling a product um, for parents to give to their children, you're always going to want to know what it, what to expect, what their kids are going to be getting. And maybe they thought in terms of moves instead of, you know, having them get a gummy, thinking that they're getting a gummy and then getting disappointed, you add a close up shot of the actual product so the parents can see what they're going to get upon arrival. So this is just a quick easy, simple test. And the great thing about this one is that we can target Amazon Prime shoppers who are also parents. So again, great targeting features inside of PicBoo. This example, chips is more about variety packs. So if you're selling any kind of product with a variety pack, you can lay it out like here, like what they did with their original image, which is really interesting, right? They're showing you that it's a 12 pack by laying them out. They have kind of a fun angle to it. So it's it's not a you know uninteresting photo. It's just that there's other things you could be doing. You could be showing a close up. You could be showing a badge over the products and it's a visual aid for the shopper to know how many items they're getting in this package. So this other example is an interesting one. There's so much real estate that you have to use here. You could enhance this and make it even bigger showing right here that it has a hundred calories, that it's gluten free. And again, make this readable from the search results. You can see that both of these were just, just creative examples that we're testing and they outperform the original image. So if we go on to this final example, one of my favorite brands, Yes Bar, um, you can see this was their original image. There's a lot of white space around the edge, which actually makes it appear smaller than these other two. You can see by just increasing the size and laying them more over on top of each other in, in the center, instead of bringing them side to side, you can actually make the box bigger. You can make your close up shot of your snack bar bigger. You can add a post edit to your packaging. You can add an angle and a drop shadow to the box. And then, um, you know, a final thing that we did with this one was you just brought everything into a 3D render. So everything was popping and crisp and clear. And this text was actually legible from the search results. Highly recommend giving this test a try. Go ahead and, and just test all of the different ideas you have for your main images and see which ones are going to help you get that incremental traffic because any incremental traffic to your listing is going to be more sales at the end of the day. I hope you found that helpful and that you're ready to get started. We want to see those tests. Make sure you tag us online, show us the results, and let us know if you have any questions. Take care.